Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Elaine and I'm living with autoimmune disease. And I thought for today, we might have a little lighthearted conversation. And I'm perhaps gonna share with you the most embarrassing, maybe most mortifying thing that has happened in my chronic illness journey. At least the most embarrassing and mortifying thing I can share on YouTube. We have to keep things PG here. This story goes back to the beginning of my journey, back when I was first getting diagnosed. I had a lot of issues and my GP and family doctor kept sending me to specialist after specialist after specialist to address each one of my issues. Lo and behold, it was autoimmune disease and all related together, but I had been to an ENT and had my throat cauterized. That was not fun. I went to an allergist for rash, found out I was allergic to horses. Who knew? I'm not really one to be around horses, but now I know. This story takes us to the neurologist because I was getting dizzy and lightheaded. So I needed to work up for that. I am about 29 years old when this story happens. I had not had a lot of experience with internal medicine, exams and workups. I did have previous experience with my gastrointestinal issues and had had a workup with that, but I had not had like a workup for being dizzy. So I knew I was going to the neurologist for being dizzy and lightheaded. I met with the neurologist, an older man, seemingly very nice, but then he gave me a gown for an exam, a gown, and told me I needed to remove my clothes. I could leave my undergarments on, but and have the gown open in the back, but that was needed for the exam. Okay, I did not know that was gonna happen. Being a woman in my late 20s, I was always prepared for exams like this. I would always make sure my legs were shaved and I was put together per se, um, but I didn't do that for this appointment. It was a neurologist and I was there for being dizzy. Like, why did he need to look at my whole body? I know now why, but I, this is what I'm thinking then. And so I did not shave my legs. I mean, I wasn't going to the gynecologist, so why would I need my legs shaved? It was winter time. They were um, not addressed in a while, so that was a bit embarrassing. But the real embarrassing part comes to, and whoa, backtrack, let's, let's just let you know what was happening here. I was on my cycle. For those that aren't familiar with that, I'm trying to nicely say it was that time of the month for me. And in my late 20s, early 30s, my preference of undergarment which I love that people in Britain call them knickers. Like that's what's so nice. Like why in America we call them underwear? But anyway, my choice of knickers, I'm gonna use that word, uh, were boy shorts with funny sayings or sayings on them because it made me feel better. And nobody knew, I had them on. I wasn't showing anybody but my husband. So I am now at the neurologist office with knickers with a funny saying on them. And I am about to be examined by an older physician. So I'm mortified that my legs are hairy. The worst part is the back of my knickers, underwear, red beauty and brains. Yes. And the gown did not close all the way in the back. So, you could see it. Now, you're probably thinking, no big deal. You're gonna sit down for the exam, right? He's gonna do your reflexes or whatnot. Okay, I thought that too. I was like, no big deal. I'm gonna be sitting down and no one's gonna notice anything. We'll play this off cool. No, the doctor came in and did my reflexes and stuff and then asked me to stand up. And so he could watch me walk because he needed to see my gait. For those that aren't familiar, it's the way you walk. Uh, and my gown was open in the back. And the doctor had a nice view of my behind that red beauty and brains. Mortifying. So since that day, I have been careful about my undergarment choice 
when going to the doctor. Not because they care, but because I care. I went back to work and shared this story with my friend who laughed and laughed and laughed. And surely if you are watching this video, you know exactly what that day felt like because I felt mortified. But you thought it was hilarious. And now looking back, I think it's hilarious enough to share with all my friends on YouTube. So that is my funny story. That is at least PG enough to share here. I of course have more stories, but it was a defining moment in my chronic illness journey and definitely one I will never forget. Do you guys think that he went home that night and told his wife that he had this lady in the office that was 29 years old that had beauty and brains written across her knickers? I wonder, sometimes I wonder. <laughs> I know that you all have probably funny stories that you can share publicly. So if you want to share your funny story down below in the comment section, please do. I think that humor and medicine keeps us going. It's these funny stories that actually make it a little less intense when you have something so seriously wrong with you. And maybe if I get enough funny stories in the comments down below, I'll put those together and make a video so we could share all of our funny stories here. At least the YouTube friendly one. That was my funny story. Man, I know that there will be more funny stories to come and more mortifying moments, but for now, this is the one I wanted to share with you all. I thought it'd be fun because if you have a funny or mortifying moment, please know you're not alone. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to come along on my adventure, I would love to have you. The more friends, the more better. So please hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free to subscribe. And until my next adventure, go have yours.